Hi there, this is gonna be a new video about the uh, false position method for continuous function. So let's start as always with our function 0.16x squared minus 0.16 equal to 0. And now we're gonna choose two uh, values, two starting point x1 and x2. And uh, we're not gonna choose them in a way that uh, by plugging in the value that we're going to choose for x1 and the value we're going to choose for x2, I'm going to get a positive and uh, a negative output. Um, so x1 is going to be 0 on a starting point and x2 is going to be 10. So if I plug in f of 0, so if I plug in 0 and find f of 0, uh, let's see, I get 0.16 uh, times 0 squared minus 0.16 which is um, 0 0.16 times 0 minus 0 0.16 therefore is 0 minus 0 0.16 so negative 0 0.16 is negative value and it's going to be my starting point so now I want, to, uh, I want uh, the, the 10 is going to give uh, me a positive value so f of 10 is 0 0.16 times 10 squared uh, minus 0 0.16 is going to give me 0 0.16 times 100 minus 0 0.16 is going to give me uh, 16 minus 0 0.16 so 15.84 all right so negative value and positive value we're good because if the function is continuous uh, I mean this is supposed to be a line. Come on. Ah, crap. Yeah, sorry for the, the very bad draw. This is like very, very bad. But you know, the, the, the sheet of paper uh, moved, so it's not entirely my fault. Anyway, it's gonna be zero, and these is gonna be my value of 10. Uh, so we know that a 10 um, is going to be up here at 15.84. Uh, it might up here. And a 0 is going to be here like negative 0 0.16. Um, uh, so down here. Uh, yeah, it's terribly out of scare, but um, it doesn't really matter because it's just a sketch, just a draw. All right, so basically we expect uh, the function is gonna go through the axis and there uh, must be a point in which it's gonna be zero if it is continuous. So as I always do, I'm gonna write the formula. So for the old position method, we have XR equal to x of 2 times f of x1 minus x1 times f of x2 everything over f of x1 minus f of x2 there we go so this formula actually tells us that uh, if we look for XR uh, xr1 we're gonna start with uh, in between 0 and 10 we're gonna start with x2 so 10 times 10 times uh, f of x1 uh, so negative 0 0.16 uh, minus x1 so 0 times f of x2 so 15.84 everything over f of x1, so negative 0 0.16 minus f of x2, so 15.84 which is actually going to give me negative 1.6 minus 0 over negative 16 so negative 1.6 over negative 16 so it's like saying 1.6 over 16 which gives me 0 0.1 so my point is going to be 0 0.1. <clears throat> so let, let's see 
if we plug 0.1 back into our function let's see what we're gonna get well we're gonna get 0.16 times 0.1 squared uh, minus 0.16 which is gonna give me 0.16 times 0.01 minus 0.16 which is going to give me a uh, well negative 0.158 so my value is going to be here negative uh, 0.158 here uh, so the function getting uh, you know still negative um, but we're getting closer to zero so uh, basically we're going to go on and look for another value so 0.1 is going to be my x1 my new x1 and 10 is still going to be my x2 so xr2 that we're going to be given by x2 so 10 times f of x1 so negative 0 0.158 negative 0 0.158 minus x1 so 0 0.1 times uh, f of x2 so 15.84 everything over f of x1 uh, so negative 0 0.158 minus f of x2 so minus 15.84 so this is actually going to give me negative 1.58 minus 1.384 over negative 15.68 which is gonna give me negative 3.164 over negative 15.68 which is like saying 3.164 over 15.68 uh, which is so 0.20 so we had just found 0.20 and now we're gonna plug uh, 0.20 back into our function so if we do that and we plug 0.20 into our function we get 0.16 times 0.20 squared minus 0.16 uh, which is actually going to give me 0.16 times 0.04 minus 0.16 uh, so 0.0064 minus 0.16 which gives me negative 0.153 we go negative 0.153 so you know we're getting there we're getting closer uh, we could go on um, and use 0.20 as our uh, x1 and uh, 10 as our x2 but as I always do I'm not going to go any farther with this iterations all right so is actually going to be our best guest for uh, this function this time.